Hey guys, we're back with some more, you guessed it, EU3 MEIOU. Uh, first order of business is going to be to send some colonialists down to the colonialinese. And by that I mean send some colonists down to the colonies. Please excuse my bad excuse for a joke that I almost made there. Uh, with uh, the funny word pronunciation. And we are... Uh, we are uh, doing well with these colonies. They are, uh, they are, uh, they are getting along just fine. They are getting along just fine. We shall have some full-fledged colonies up and running pretty soon. Then we can start going after the uh, Venetians down here. Uh, maybe the Hungarians. I mean, they're like technically on my side and everything, but like, God, they're not doing anything useful. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But last time, I promised you guys a, uh, a, uh, oops, I clicked out of the window. I promised you guys a, uh, fight against Orléans. Well, they're really strong. They are really strong. Uh, so... I thought what I could do is I could go to war against England. That's a possibility. I was looking at this, Ledger. Cost of Spell Eye. Alright. I could go to war with, for example, I don't know. I want to I wanna, I wanna do Imperial Ban. Castile is one. England's another. I apparently have three Cost of Spell Eyes on them for that, but I don't know. And Orléans. So it's... Oh, or Salzburg. I could do Salzburg. Nah, but that wouldn't do me any good, I don't think. I mean, like, I could do it, but... Nationalism... Hold on, let me see uh, if nationalism give the nationalism cost a spell I... Oops, and pause. Let me see if the nationalism cost a spell I... Um, uh, gives you... Uh, cores... I'm Googling it right now if you were wondering what I'm doing. Um, I don't I don't think so. Someone tell me that, because uh, cause, uh, I'd be really interested. I would be very, very interested in um, in uh, seeing if that does. I, I've heard people tell me that it does, uh, but I don't always trust the interwebs when it comes to uh, information about this game, because there's a lot of disinformation going around about how stuff works in this game, but mainly because I think no one's quite sure. Uh, I mean, like, different mods do different things, and there's all kinds of different... Ah, better colonization now, or something. There's all kind of mods and stuff going on around, um, uh, and there's different versions of the game, obviously, and I think that each version operates slightly differently, so, you know, no one really knows exactly how everything works, so when someone gives you advice on this game, you have to take it with a grain of salt, because it might not be the version of the game you have, so, uh, that's why I'm a bit, uh, hesitant to, uh, do anything about Salzburg, even though I could check my relations, even though I could get them because they are my culture group, I'm still kind of scared too. Just a little bit scared. Just a little bit. But, I do want to go to war with Orléans. That is that is definitely a priority. So you guys go there. They are already at war, aren't they? Well, with someone way across the ocean. You know what? I'm going to have you guys here. You guys there. And you guys go there. I just want to be a little bit behind the front lines when this war starts. Just a little behind. It might be worth it for you to come over here as well, S star me. Someone told me that like I spelled that wrong or something. That it's not actually S star me. It's like A star me or something. I... I don't really care. I'm sorry, German speakers, if I really uh, 
make you mad with my misspellings and mispronunciations of everything, but I think you understand. I am I am a uh, not decidedly not German. <laughs> I am uh, very much uh, American, born and raised. So uh, yeah, don't be too mad at me if I get pronunciations and stuff wrong. I do my best, but I'm not perfect. I am in no by no means perfect. Um, Hungary has tried to colonize that. Not gonna last very long. Um, all right. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stick with South America, like this chunk of South America. Um, I think anyway. That seems good, at least. All right, everyone. I want to get my all my all, all my armies over here before I do any war declaring. Ah, oh, we have finally converted Vaud. Nice. So now the only person in the only king in all a ruler in general in all of Europe who is not Catholic other than Orthodox uh, or maybe there's some Muslims in Europe, but you know that okay. In Western Europe, there is only one Protestant king. And that is, uh, he's not even a king, he's a duke. But, uh, du or Stadthalter. This guy. Uh, Friedrich uh, Schwiegdemann. The only, only, only non-Catholic ruler in all of Western Europe. There's some non-Catholic people, like right here. They're, uh, they're Protestant. And these guys are Protestant. But other than that, uh, pretty much everyone's Catholic. So, uh... Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not gonna lie. These guys are gonna be ready soon for a, uh, for a, actually, I might wanna finish my colonies first before I declare war, because if I don't, they could sweep in and steal some colonies. Ah, uh, that'd be bad. That'd be very bad. All right, the furthest th that I have away is this colony, uh, and they'll be they'll be done soon. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It might not be till next uh, video that I get to war with them, because no, you know, I'll make this video a bit longer than usual. My, my roommate's out, so I don't have to worry about him barging in any minute, which is usually why I make make my videos shorter. Is because it you know gives me like. If I have to stop the recording and like restart because he walked in or something, uh, it's not as long of a video that I have to reshoot, you know, or replay. Um, but when he's gone, like he is now, it's not really a worry. So I'll record a bit longer than usual today. Just a bit longer. He is here for the weekend, though, so it's not going to be as much time as I would like to record. Ah, Anguinipa, I now have a core there, because it's awesome! Awesome! Fuck yeah. Guanipa, new Austrian core. And all these are Austrian cultured, so that's just fan-damn-tastic. That is just fan-damn-tastic. Wait, who was it? Okay. I ignored someone, let's see. I wish it would tell you who you ignored. Uh, maybe Bohemia. Yeah, Bohemia. They don't hate me, but I'd like to get a even higher. Even higher. I, oh, I discovered a bunch of new places. I have discovered a bunch of new places. Let's look at this. Let us look at all this shit that I have discovered. Just some stuff on the side of the uh, the side of the coast. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, Castile is really going at it in the Caribbean and stuff, which means that we've got to capture South America. That's got to be our thing, is South America. Uh, if we're gonna, you know, compete with them at all. So I do want to finish my colonies down here, so that I can uh, not worry about anyone swooping in and getting them while I'm at war. Because that would be very bad if someone just decided to, hey, <laughs> these are mine now. Uh, cacao, um, dead hand of the church, sure, whatever. 
Engineers are busy. Sweet. Got a fort level three. News from the colonies. Wheat will not be produced. All right. We are getting some. We are getting some stuff going. And as the colonies stop being so uh, colony-like, we should be getting uh, less expenses from them, meaning that more money from them. I mean, if we look at the economic map mode, uh, some of them are already turning a profit. Most of them are already turning a profit. This one, uh, 24, uh, 19, 17, 21... All pretty profitable. These guys are breaking even, breaking even, uh, losing money, losing money, losing money. But they're all still actual uh, colonies. Well, this one isn't anymore. We'll build a fort there. Oh, does it already have a fort there? I'll build a level 2 fort there. Because I want one. Now, it doesn't have a fort there. Hold on. Something's messed up. Ah. Hungarians, can you please deal with him? Yeah, they will. Alright. Yeah, something's messed up. I can, uh... Fort. Here we go. There we go. I lost a little bit of money on that because the game bugged out, but it's okay. It's okay. Alright, so we're just we're down to only a few colonies now. Three, yeah, three. These guys need a colonist. No! No, no, no. Oh, he was kinda shared anyway. Um I'll send for a train medicus, but like if he dies, uh he didn't die. If he had died I wouldn't have cared. I would have been okay with it. He wasn't that great. So you know it's like Eh, he dies, no harm, no foul. You know, it's okay. But he lived, so it's okay. Alright, we are almost... 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 Ready to be finished with these colonies. Almost. Almost. Just finishing up. Just finishing up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Only two more. Only two more colonies now. And then we have no more colonies at all. And at which point we'll have to start colonizing like this kind of, you know, all this down here. Uh, that's when that comes in, is when we finished up here, we start going inland. Or uh, here as well. <gasps> Ooh, this place is uncolonized. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. I'm sorry, I had to grab it. I just had to grab it. There was... I couldn't wait for the Hungarians or someone else to, you know, nab it from me. So I had to get it. I get too few spies, though. I need to find out how to get more spies. I really need to figure out how to get more spies. Other than just cheating and giving myself more spies. Because I, I, I am okay with doing that. I am absolutely okay with doing that. I don't consider it cheating. I think this game is uh, horribly, horribly... Um, um, uh, conservative with how many spies it gives me. Well, folks, I was about to declare war, but then I realized my roommate is actually back. So, uh, I'll just have to finish this up later. You guys at least got a good, good, uh, good view of me doing some colonial shit. And as a, uh, consolation prize, I will begin colonizing the inlands. Well, I can't do that because that's a, uh, wasteland. But! We have begun to colonize the inlands of of the uh, South America. Thanks for watching, folks, and I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.